I am hoping, and this is, you know, when you say we should look forward, I am hoping that the government of today, beyond naming the stadium after Abiola, beyond declaring the public holiday, I'm hoping that they will also be able to unite Nigeria. Do you see President Buhari as that kind of person that can unite uh, Nigeria? Well, I'm not Dr. Fayemi who would swear by that. I'm not that close to him. I've met him a couple of times, but I'm not convinced, especially today. What I expected today in Abuja was a unification process. I would have expected to see even some of the opposition leaders. I'm sure, I don't know if they were invited, but I'm sure if they were invited, a lot of them would have come there today. That must happen. In fact, immediately after the June 12 uh, crisis started, people were already clamoring for government of national unity. And that's why when the interim government came, people were a bit disappointed that it didn't live up to expectation. So I'm hoping that uh, people like Dr. Kayo Defayemi, who have been in the system and who are also part of pro-democracy, will be able to address this and be able to advise their government on the way forward. Because they stand to gain a lot. You, you, Nigeria you, you, stands you, you, to gain a lot. It does look like, uh, Chief Dele Mamadu, you don't believe that there are strong democratic tendencies with this, uh, this I know, I Buhari government. See more, I see Buhari government as more pro-military than pro-democracy. That is my opinion. What, what makes you think so? Oh, a lot of, a lot of things. When you see an executive arm that seeks to control everything, executive controls the executive, executive controls judiciary, controls legislature, controls the media, that is military. And that gives you a lot of concern. Yes.